This presentation is on the having clause. Now, the having clause continues our discussion from the last presentation on the group by clause for grouping data. Now, you can get data into groups, but what if you want to eliminate some of those groups from your display based on some criteria? We know how to eliminate rows by using the WHERE clause, and a HAVING clause is like a WHERE clause for a group. The WHERE clause limits the rows that come back. HAVING clause limits the groups. Here's the basic syntax. We've got, of course, the SELECT and FROM at the top, and then optionally, that's what the square brackets are for, we can specify WHERE conditions. Then the GROUP BY and the GROUP LIST, the column or columns we want to group on. Now, optionally, we can specify a HAVING conditions. Obviously, it's optional because all of the GROUP BYs you've seen thus far didn't have a HAVING condition. Now, very often, since grouping allows us to look at summary information on groups of rows in a table, we need to ask criteria questions using those aggregates. And a WHERE condition, as you've seen before, applies whatever conditions it has before any aggregates are calculated. But the HAVING conditions apply after the aggregates are calculated. So again, a little bit of HAVING versus WHERE. WHERE comes after the FROM clause. HAVING comes after the GROUP BY. WHERE conditions cannot include aggregates like the SUM or AVERAGE. Those summary functions, those are the aggregates, cannot put them in a WHERE clause, will not work, should give you a syntax error. It won't give you accurate results. The HAVING conditions almost always include aggregates because our groups are usually about getting summary information for a group. So if we're going to limit those groups, we have to limit them looking at an aggregate, more often than not. Here's an example. I'm selecting the type and the count, star, or count asterisk. That's going to give us all the rows that come back for each group in the book table by type. I'm grouping by type, you can see. But now I say having a count star greater than one. That means I don't want to see any groups that have only one book in them. I want it to be more than that. So you can't use a WHERE clause here because WHERE does not allow aggregates. Let's go ahead and run this. I've preloaded it here. Run the statement. So here, business is four, computer three, five. Well, it's clearly more than one. If I take that out and run it again, you can see we had a null group of one. Say I want to eliminate even more. Say having greater than three. I want to make sure there's at least three books. I'll change it to three, run it, and now my group count summary information is greater than three. So here it is. I'm asking a question about the aggregate. That's what having is best used for. Now, you can put conditions on the having clause very much like you do on the where. Notice here in this statement, I have having some advance greater than 15,000 and the price is less than 30, or rather the average price is less than 30. That's the average price for the group, the group of publisher IDs. That's what I'm grouping on, the pub ID. And the pub ID itself is greater than 3. Now that's not an aggregate, but I can do it this way. Let's go ahead and give that a try. I've changed my mind here, and I'm going to look for where the pub ID is less than 3. Because I happen to remember that we have 1, 2, and 3 are our pub IDs. So let's run this. So here we are. We've got 1, 2, and 3. Well, 3 is not less than 3, so we didn't see it. If I took this out and ran the statement, I would see the third group if I had anything that met these conditions. And apparently I don't. Let's go ahead and change something and see if this changes the equation. I'll say price less than 70, and I'll run this. Okay, that was it. The average price, rather, less than 70. So the average price was 32. And before, when I was saying it had to be less than 30, this group never appeared because we eliminated it based on that criteria. So remember, a having is a WHERE clause for a group. And that ends this presentation on the having clause that's used with the GROUP BY clause.